Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this look for you guys. I feel like I say the same thing in every single intro, it's just because I'm not like that comfortable yet. But yeah, I'm thinking of filming a Q&A soon. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram or tweet me on my Twitter, I'll leave the links to it on the screen somewhere here. I want to do a Q&A just so you guys can get to know me a bit better. But yeah, for today's video, I filmed this look. So yeah, let's just get straight into this look. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is taking the Mario Badescu Rose Water. I absolutely love this spray. I'm just going to drown my face in that to begin with, just to like prime my face and to make sure everything's nice and ready for makeup. So now for foundation, I'm going to take the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Tawny. As you guys know, that is one of my holy grail foundations. I always talk about it on my channel. And to apply that, I'm going to be using a Sigma Kabuki brush. So I'm just going to take that all over my face and I'm just going to work it in with the brush. Um, I'm not actually a massive fan of this brush. I haven't used it in ages and I just thought, let me try and work with it today but it just wasn't really working for me. So I did switch over to the Beauty Blender to blend it all out because I just like the way the Beauty Blender, like the finish is just so much nicer. With a brush, I just find it so streaky, especially with this one. So I would definitely recommend using a Beauty Blender for this foundation. So now that all of my foundation is blended out and I'm impressed with the coverage of it, I'm just gonna take the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C7 and I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my chin and my forehead like I always do. And then to blend that all out, I'm just gonna take the same beauty blender I was using earlier. I forgot to mention that it is actually damp. I always use a damp sponge. I literally can't work with a dry sponge. I literally hate it. So I'm just gonna blend that all out. Now just to set my whole face, I'm going to take the RCMA No Colour Powder and I'm just going to put that all over my face to make sure it's nice and mattified for the rest of the powders I'm going to put down. Moving on to contour now, I'm going to take the Morphe 9C palette, which is a contour palette, and I'm going to take one of the cooler shades on a dome brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to chisel out my cheekbones, give myself a little bit more definition because I do want to kind of look snatched for this look today. So I'm going to take that on my cheekbones, on my forehead and underneath my jaw just to give that real chiselled look. The only thing I would say with this palette is it can get really cakey quite quickly. So just take a little bit at a time and just build it. So for eyes today I'm taking the Morphe 15D palette and I'm going to be using the shade in the crease. And I'm just going to put that directly above my crease for my transition shade. So now that I've blended out my transition shade and it's just so pretty and pigmented, I'm going to dip into the shade Editor now and I'm going to take a big blending brush and I'm just going to put that directly under where I put the transition shade. So I'm just picking up a little bit of my brush to begin with, I just want to build it up. So I'm taking little bits at a time and I'm just kind of really working it in. So I'm making sure it's all nice and blended out until I'm happy with the colour of it. So now that I've blended that all in and I'm literally loving the colour of it, I'm going to take the shade Define from the same palette on a flat brush. I think this one is from Ted Baker. And I'm just going to pack that all over my lid and really make it dark. I want it to be quite dramatic. So now just to do my mascara, I'm going to be using the Lancome Hypnose Doll Eyes Mascara. This is literally my favourite mascara at the moment. It's so good, it really separates my lashes and makes them look so much longer, even when I haven't curled them. So to finish off my under eye, I'm going to take this really small, flat definer brush from Morphe, and I'm going to take the shade Editor, and I'm just going to run that directly underneath my lash line. But now that I've got that shade underneath my eye, just to bring the whole look together, I'm going to add lashes. And these are the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. I love these lashes. They look so natural, but they just really bring the whole look together. You don't have to add lashes because I know everyone doesn't like to wear lashes every single day. But this is just more of a dressy kind of day look. Now 
Now I'm just taking the same mascara I used earlier and I'm just gonna put that over the fake lashes I just applied to blend them into my real lashes and I'm gonna put it on my lower lashes as well. So just to add a little bit of color back into my brows from all the foundation and powders that I put over it, I'm just gonna take the NYX Brow Mascara in the shade Medium Brown and I'm just gonna run that through my brows just so they look a lot more bolder and they just bring the whole look together. So to finish off the rest of my face, I'm gonna be taking the Kali Bible Palette and I'm gonna use the Morphe highlighting brush, which I always use, and I'm gonna take the kind of pinky shade, and I'm just gonna put that all over my cheekbones, the top of my lip, my cupid's bow, my nose, basically just drown my face in it. I'm also gonna be taking this on my inner corner and my brow bone. So I'm going to use a MAC lip liner now in the shade Boldly Bare. This is just the perfect nude shade and because it's quite an autumnal look, I wanted to go for a nude lip. So I'm just going to outline my lips with that and it's just such a pretty colour. I love this. It's just the perfect nude lip liner. Okay, so now that I've outlined my lips, I'm gonna take the MAC lipstick in the shade Well. This is quite a lot darker than I was expecting it to be, but I really love this color. So it's a matte lipstick, which I literally need in my life because I literally get lipstick all over my teeth every time I wear lipstick, so I need it to be matte. It's quite a purpley color, but I am mad at it. It's so nice, it's so pretty. It just really tied the whole look together. Now just to set everything into place, I'm taking the same rose water spray and I'm just gonna drown my face in that. That brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.